Hello, I am Michael Bauman. I'm from Tucson, Arizona. I am a graduate of the University of Arizona, um, and I've written a book called Venom Wars of the Desert Realm. Your book uh, sounds like a terrifying book, but it's actually a children's book, isn't it? Venom Wars of the Desert Realm is an animal adventure story. <laughs> Um, and really inspired by this Norn Desert that we know very well and as we've talked, you know, there's a lot of poisonous critters and that was some of the inspiration of the story is to put some mythology why some animals are poisonous, why some aren't, was there a choice? And so kind of explored that and made a fun little adventure story. For, it's for kids, but people that like Lord of the Rings, those type of stories should enjoy it. What was the inspiration for this? I mean, it, this, this came out of left field. Um, well, you know, what's interesting, I started writing the book um, more for myself. I never really set out to write a book. It was more of a cathartic exercise for myself. Um, and I was again inspired by, you know, the, the desert that we live in and the amazing creatures. And, and then I actually used my children as, uh, my four kids as the, the main heroes of the story. So they're named after them and use their personalities and, and um, kind of their spirit to, you know, inspire those characters. Well, let's go through some of the characters. Sure. <clears throat> well, the four main characters, uh, there's three hares, Nicholas, Nick, Cade, and Sam. And those were named after my three boys. And then Olivia is an owl um, that's in, in, named after my daughter. And uh, yeah, these the, the, these orphans, uh, these hares have been orphaned, and Olivia kind of looks after them. And there's a, um, a, a evil force that's kind of entering the desert and wants to take over. So where do the venom creatures come in? Well, they're the bad guys, of course, yeah. right? They're the bad guys. And um, there's really, there's this venom stone that gets rediscovered that has the power to convert. So that's really, they're on a mission to not just kill, they want to convert people to their way. And that's actually what their goal is with the, the Eagle Prince is they want to hatch him in this sort of, this way that'll make him a venomous bird and they'll kind of take over. So that's, the, that's their big plan. The book is is really a deep dive into imagination. Um, what's been the reaction from some of the kid readers? You know, they really like it. I mean, and it was my first venture doing it, but honestly, the feedback's been really, really great. It seems like they have a lot of fun. Um, you know, the, one one time I had to get some criticism. A kid was very serious, and he came up to me. He's like, "You just need to talk more about the character." So, you know, that was a, that was really great. They wanted to know more, and um, I actually have a second book, Venom Wars of the Island Realm, that's not done, and I kind of have it sort of in waiting. Um, and that book is where this is inspired by the animals and environment of here in, in the desert. Um, I was born in Hawaii, so that book is inspired by the environment and animals. They're the same heroes will journey there and have adventures. What do your kids think about this? They're being uh, immortalized with these books now. I mean, I think they think it's pretty cool, you know, uh, but, you know, it's just dad stuff. It's probably no big deal, you know, they're just, so no, they, they think it's neat. Well, they're not little kids anymore. No, no, for sure. And actually, uh, the, my one favorite, uh, uh, I have one copy of the book that my daughter annotated the complete book and wrote notes and the whole thing. So that was really cool. And she even would say, oh, when you wrote this, it reminds me when we went to, oh. you know, Karchner Caverns or something like that. So how old are your kids now? 25, 22, and two 18 year old. Oh, you're writing this for grandkids now. Oh yeah, sure, <laughs> that's right. Hopefully not yet, but yes, yeah. You know, you didn't start off to be an author. You didn't, this was not something you planned to do. How difficult has that road been to actually getting a book published? Um, well, you know, what's interesting is in today's world, um, it's not too hard. I, I, think, um, I think actually just sitting down and doing the writing is the hardest part. Um, if you have something you want to get out in the world, I mean, there's so many resources, there's so many ways to get things done, and I self-published, and you know, but I hired editors, and I found artists, and um, so no, I, I think the, the hard part is doing the writing. That's, that's the hard part, to sit down, it's lonely, you know, you're, it's all by yourself, right? So, um, but to, I think there's so many great ways that people, the creatives, you know, you can, you can put your stuff out in the world now if you if you really want to. So it's a lot different than 20 years ago. You know? you, you even got Bill Walton to uh, promote your book. <laughs> How did that happen? I did. Uh, Bill's great. He was so nice. Uh, it was before I had season tickets for Arizona basketball. So go Cats. Um, and before one of the, I think UCLA game or USC game, um, on Thursday I brought him a book and just, hey, Mr. Walton, big fan. And he kind of looked at it and sat on the scorer's table. And um, at the end of the game, he, took in his bag and left and I was like, oh, that's a victory, you know, Bill took my book. Um, and then the Saturday game, I was sitting there with my buddy and lots of my phone starts ringing and I, he actually take, took my book on ESPN, mentioned the title and said, so it was crazy. So the nicest thing to do, but Bill's, he's, he's a neat guy. Boy, that's guerrilla marketing 101, isn't it? Yeah. You're here at the Tucson uh, Festival of Books. 
Is it important for an independent artist, an independent uh, author such as yourself, to have this kind of a venue, this kind of an outlet? What does it mean to you? Absolutely. I mean, I'm lucky because I'm here locally. But yeah, it's a great event. It's it's great exposure, and I think, um, you know, was I have a, 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 a other career that pays my bills. That the book doesn't right now, but um, coming to events like this, you just meet a lot of people that are that are like-minded, that are probably the same goals. So you can really learn. Is there a moral to this story? Is there, what is the, the overarching, I mean, if, if a kid walks away with a feeling, a, a, a belief, something they've thought of, what do you hope it is? I mean, it's, it's a classic good versus evil, bravery, you know, and heroes, and, and so I think that, you know, that good can win is probably the, you know. Good can win. Wonderful. Well, listen, thank you so much for joining us. I wish you all the luck in the world. Thanks, Nancy. Thanks for the invite.